A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four vertices. For example, rectangle, square, parallelogram, rhombus, trapezoid. And the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree. If we apply this formula, n minus 2 multiplies 180 degree, then it results in 360 degree for a quadrilateral where n equals 4 denoting the number of sides of a quadrilateral. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles, that is 90 degree. So it is also called equiangular quadrilateral. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and parallel to each other, so it can also be defined as a parallelogram containing right angles. A rectangle with four sides of equal length will be a square. And the length of the diagonal of a rectangle are equal to each other. The area of a rectangle equals length multiplies width. And the perimeter of a rectangle equals length plus width plus length plus width equals 2 times length plus width. And the diagonal of a rectangle is equal to square root of length square plus width square. We can see here that the diagonal of this rectangle ABCD divides the rectangle into two right triangles of equal area. And so it acts as the hypotenuse for the triangles, where we can apply the theorem of Pythagoras to get this formula because the length and width act as the legs of the right triangle. Now the area of the rectangle EFGH equals 12 multiplies 5 equals 60 centimeters square because for this rectangle the length equals 12 centimeter and the width equal 5 centimeter. So the perimeter of the rectangle EFGH equals 2 multiplies 12 plus 5, which results in 34 centimeter. So the diagonal of the rectangle equals square root of 12 square plus 5 square, which results in 13 centimeter. A square is a regular quadrilateral which means that it has four equal sides and four equal angles of 90 degree. It can also be defined as a rectangle in which two adjacent sides have same equal length. Diagonals of a square are equal in length and they are perpendicular bisector of each other. And so, a square is also called orthodiagonal quadrilateral when the square is divided into four triangles of equal area. The area of a square equals a square of length of each side. And the perimeter of a square equals four times length of each side because a square has four equal sides and the diagonal of a square can be determined applying the theorem of Pythagoras because all of the angles of a square is equal to 90 degree and a diagonal divides a square into two right triangles of equal area so the diagonal acts as, an, as a hypotenuse. So the diagonal of a square is equal to a square root of 2 multiplies length of each side. From this formula, we can get that a square of length of diagonal equals 2 times a square of length of each side, which helps us to get the area of a square in terms of the diagonal, which equals 
half of square of length of the diagonal. So the diagonal of the square m and op equals square root 2 multiplies length of each side which equals 5 centimeters. So the length of diagonal of a square m and op equals 5 square root 2 centimeter. And the area of the square m and op equals a square of length of each side. So 5 square equals 25 centimeter square which can also be obtained applying the formula of area for the square in terms of the diagonal which equals half multiplies a square of length of the diagonal which is 5 root 2 a square so it result in, it results in 25 centimeter square as well so the perimeter of the square equals 4 times length of each side so 4 times 5 equals 20 centimeter rhombus a rhombus is a quadrilateral whose four sides all have the same length so a rhombus is an equilateral quadrilateral where opposite angles are equal and opposite sides are parallel to each other all four sides of a rhombus are equal like a square where opposite sides are parallel to each other like a parallelogram. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisector of each other and so rhombus is also an orthodiagonal quadrilateral. We can see here that the diagonals are not equal in length. The diagonal passes through the acute angle is longer than the diagonal passes through the obtuse angle. Area of a rhombus equals base multiplies height equals half of the length of diagonal 1 multiplies half of the length of diagonal 2. And the perimeter of a rhombus equals 4 times the length of each side. In this diagram for rhombus ABCD, it is given that AO equals 4 cm, OD equals 3 cm. We know that the diagonals of rhombus are perpendicular bisector of each other. So for this diagram, BO and OD are perpendicular to the diagonal AC and AO and OC are perpendicular to the diagonal BD. So as they bisect each other, so and that is why AC equals 2 times AO. So here AO equals 4 cm. So the diagonal AC equals 8 cm. Similarly, BO equals OD equals half of BD. So BD equals 2 times BO and 2 times OD. Here OD equals 3 cm so the diagonal BD equals 2 times OD that is BD equals 6 cm. So we can get the area of rhombus ABCD equals half multiplies the length of diagonal 1 that is 8 cm multiplies the length of diagonal 2 which is 6 cm. So the area of rhombus ABCD equals half multiplies 8 multiplies 6 equals 24 centimeter square now as the rhombus are perpendicular by as the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of each other so we can see here that angle aod equals doc equals angle cob equals angle boa is equal to 90 degree that is why we can consider aod triangle aod as and right as a right triangle where AOD equals 90 degree and AD equals A is the hypotenuse. So we can apply Pythagorean theorem and write that A square equals AO equals 4 centimeters. So A square equals 4 square plus 
3 square where OD equals 3 centimeter which helps us to get that the side of the rhombus is equal to 5 centimeter. So the perimeter of, of the rhombus ABCD equals 4 times length of each side which is A equals 5 centimeter. So we write that the perimeter of the rhombus equals 4 times 5 equals 20 centimeter. Thanks for watching. Perceive, persevere, practice. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanking you from High Study Prep.